the spring of 2018 commitment exercises for the School of Graduate Studies. Entering the hall now are the university's faculty. This is the 142nd Spring Commencement Exercises of Morgan State University. The university solicits your cooperation in helping to sustain the dignity and solemnity of this occasion. We respectfully request that you refrain from engaging in conversation, as well as moving about while the commencement exercises are in progress. Once the exercises have begun, only members of the authorized working press and authorized photographers are permitted on the arena floor. We ask that our guests to stand as the academic procession moves into the arena and remain standing until after the scene of the hymn. Now entering the hall are the students receiving their degrees today.
settings, the mace was possessed through a commencement. Hence, it was adopted by colleges and universities throughout the West and in the United States. It is usually worn by the chief faculty of Our thanks to Dr. Samuel Stringer of the Department of Fine and Performing Arts for the organ processional. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the 2018 Spring Commencement Exercises of the School of Graduate Studies at Morgan State University. We are so very pleased to have all of you with us this morning to take part in Morgan's 142nd Spring Graduation Ceremonies and our second separate graduation ceremonies for the School of Graduate Studies. <laughs> we welcome you and we thank you for joining us today to salute the ladies and gentlemen who are receiving doctoral degrees and master's degrees in the class of spring 2018 of Morgan State University. The order of services for these commencement ceremonies can be found on page 15 of your program booklet. And so we shall begin the commencement exercises with the invocation by Reverend Dr. Bernard Keels, Dean of the University Memorial Chapel, followed by the singing of the Negro National Anthem led by Ms. Ayana Freelon, soprano from the world-renowned Morgan State University Choir. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Keels. Will you pray with me? 
God on this blessed day, a day that we lift our eyes to the hills, giving heartfelt thanks to you who are the author and perfecter of these graduates who travel the road to excellence. They have come, O oh God, from many nations, learning in many tongues, believing in many faiths. This day, they've arrived at a common place of achievement, having met new friends, celebrated one of those joys and shouldered their burdens. They have become branches of the same vine of learning. O oh, Divine One, the dreams of their childhood have grown into the visions of the educational, spiritual, and personal development. Wherever the pathway leads them, may they forever clothe themselves with the garment of humility and servant leadership. Remind us of the words of Sir Francis Drake. Disturb us, Lord, to dare more boldly, to dare more boldly, to venture on wilder seas where storms will show your majesty. We're losing sight of land, we shall find the stars. Push back the horizons, O oh God, of our hopes, that we may push into the future in strength, courage, and love. Amen.
Thank you, Ms. Freelon. After that, I think we all deserve to be seated. Thank you, that was just beautiful. We are very pleased to have with us this morning several members of the Board of Regents of Morgan State University. I'm going to introduce them and ask them to stand and be recognized as I introduce each one. Uh, first, we have the Chairman of the Morgan State University Board of Regents, the Honorable Kwaisi Mfume. The Vice Chair of the Morgan State University Board of Regents, Reverend Dr. Francis Murphy Draper. Regent Winston A. Wilkinson. And we have with us our student regent who will be graduating on Saturday. Please join me in welcoming our student regent, Ms. Hamida Famuditimi. I am now pleased to present to you the Honorable Kwaisi Mfume, Chair of the Board of Regents, who will bring special greetings on behalf of the board. Thank you, President Dr. David Wilson. Thank you for your leadership, your friendship, and your stewardship of this great institution. Fellow Regents, distinguished faculty, administrators, and most of all, to the graduating class of the School of Graduate Studies, it is my pleasure and honor to bring you greetings from the Board of Regents of Morgan State as we close out another successful academic year and as we send forth yet another class of well-prepared Morgan graduates. We are also particularly pleased and honored to have with us on this special day a number of parents, grandparents, husbands, wives, friends, and other family members. As you can see, commencement really is a family affair. And it's always a joyous occasion for this university. It is indeed a culminating moment of great triumph and achievement for our graduates who now can finally look back and say that it was all worthwhile. The hard work, the sleepless nights, the anxiety before exams, the never-ending deadline for papers, and most of all, the excitement in knowing that what lies behind you and what lies before you is of less significance when compared to what lies within you. Keep in front of you the admonition of the late Frank Outlaw, who said, watch your thoughts, for they become your words. Watch your words, for they become your actions. Watch your actions, for they become your habits. Watch your habits, for they become your character. And by all means, watch your character, for it becomes and determines your destiny. So don't be stymied by the agony of failure, and do not be deceived by the ecstasy of success. Instead, let your failures in life now become springboards toward even greater achievements, and let your successes render you sober, serious, and certain about the tangible rewards of hard work that you all celebrate today. And finally, remember this day, for it shall pass very quickly. Remember the pomp and the circumstance of this ceremony. Remember the faces of your fellow graduate students who are seated around you, and know that because of the unpredictability of life, some of them you will never see again. But most of all, remember Morgan, her orange and her blue, and never let go of your alma mater. We, the Board of Regents, salute you, the members of the graduate class of 2018 and we remind you 
that the promise of America is real. This land is your land. Do not just follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a mark and a trail of your own. Good luck, congratulations, and Godspeed. Uh, thank you very much, Chairman Mfume, for those wise words of wisdom to our graduating spring 2018 class. In keeping with a long-standing tradition at the university, and indeed continuing a new tradition at our graduation ceremony for the School of Graduate Studies that we began last year, I am pleased to now present to you two students. These are students from the graduating class, and they will salute their fellow graduates and issue them a challenge. First, we have Mr. Tyrone Stanley, who is a doctoral student, soon to be in a few minutes, Dr. Tyrone Stanley. He is a graduate student in English, studying for the Doctor of Philosophy degree. And after Mr. Stanley comes forward, we are hear from Ms. Jessica White, uh, who is a candidate for the Master of Public Health degree. Uh, please join me in welcoming to the podium Mr. Tyrone Stanley, followed by Ms. Jessica White. My fellow graduates, faculty, trustees, parents, families, and friends, good morning. I am deeply honored to bring you this very brief but heartfelt message. I cannot proclaim to be some great philosopher or orator, such as the late great Dr. King, even as I joined the ranks of that 6.5% and rising of African Americans earning a PhD. I would be remiss if I didn't give um, honor to my family, starting with my father, a decorated officer, uh, retired officer of the Navy, Fred E. Stanley Sr., and my mother, Irene Stanley. I say to you, thank you, and I salute you. My sisters and my brothers, my nephews, nieces, and all of my family members and friends who join me today, I salute you for your support. It's your shoulders that I'm standing on today. Most commencement addresses allude to this monumental occasion as being the close of a chapter or the end of a journey, or even the completion of a race. I want to offer to you that we are not merely finishing a race, friends. We're not merely finishing a journey. Today, we've conquered a course. And I say this because life, life is a continuous journey. And like the wonderful sport of golf, various courses to conquer. We've conquered a course. But the journey, the quest to know, the need to be, to exist, and desire to mean something, that continues. Dear Morgan was one of the greatest courses of our journey, one where we were tested and tried and tested and tried, and today proven true. Tried, tested, and true. As I look over this sea of blue and orange, I'm reminded of the Greek mythological character, the Phoenix. Because from ashes, we have risen. And although there may have been things that we came against that sent us to a place where we thought we were finished, where we thought we were burned up, where we thought it was over, where we thought we couldn't go any longer, we have risen like the Phoenix. And today we take flight. I want to offer you three short points. One, know your purpose. The 35th president of our country, John F. Kennedy, said that efforts and courage are not enough without purpose and direction. When you know what your purpose is, the reason you exist, the presence of passion will guide your journey. 
And when that real transition from this journey to the next comes, you will be ready because you've done what you came to do. And the fruit you leave behind will continue to feed and give life. Number two, embrace your individuality. Embrace who you are no matter uh, what, how, or what uh, others may do to define you. Uh, I agree with the Jamaican author, Claude McKay, that if a man is not faithful to his own individuality, he can't be loyal to anything. Loyal to the people you serve, loyal to Morgan, loyal to the program that you completed, loyalty to yourself. Because something that is unique to you and you alone is needed for every course you encounter on your journey. Finally, respect time. Hear these lines from Dr. Seuss's great poem. How did it get so late so soon? It's night before it's afternoon. December is here before it's June. My goodness, how the time has flown. How did it get so late so soon? I took a break from a successful career in entertainment where I sang and danced in shows like The Gershwin's Porgy and Bess, The Wiz right here at Morgan, Ain't Misbehaving, and the chorus for New York City Opera. I felt there's time I can always go back. Then in my second year of this program, I was diagnosed with renal carcinoma, cancer of the kidney. As I underwent surgery and treatment, I made up in my mind that whatever time I had left on this earth, I was gonna fill it with purpose-driven life, making a memory each day and doing what it is I know I came here to do, completing tasks that I started, and that meant this PhD. Treating others with love and kindness and respect because when it all comes down to it, time moves on, even when we do not. Friends, I know we'll face many things once we leave this moment in time, but as you face the various vicissitudes, vicissitudes of your life and the misfortunes, the heartbreaks, the downfalls, the upsets, the triumphs, the failures, the re remember this moment. Remember we are made up of some stuff that enabled us to make application, to gain entrance into school, to persevere through hours upon hours of research, days of uncertainty and self-doubt, week after week of late nights filled with frustration and energy drinks, months that turn into years of what seem like endless papers, tears, articles, readings, labs, comprehensive examinations, that one professor that just seemed like they didn't want you to be great. You are more than a master of arts, a master of science, or business administration. You are more than a doctor of philosophy, education, or public health. You are a master of resilience, strength, and tenacity. You are a doctor of determination, fight, purpose, and strength. So any obstacle you face, any colossal barrier or hindrance, remember you've already been tried, you've already been tested, and true to the nature of the beast that's inside you, brought you to this point, nothing will be insurmountable. So I say to you, celebrate life today, celebrate this accomplishment, and as you continue this journey, May the road rise up to meet you, and may the wind be always at your back. And by the way, today I stand before you cancer-free. I'm a survivor. And so are you. Go and make your dreams come true. Peace be unto you all. Mr. President? Whew. <laughs> His speech was fire, but I'm going to try to wrap it up real quick so we could get to these degrees. <laughs> uh, good morning. I would like to start off with a quote. 
Success is not a destination, but the road that you're on. Being successful means that you're working hard and walking your walk every day. You can only live your dream by working hard towards it. That is living your dream, Marlon Wayans. As mentioned earlier, my name is Jessica White. I was a Master of Public Health student with a focus in public health analysis. But today, I stand before you no longer a student, but a Morgan graduate. We are all graduates today, and that is something to be proud of, to shed tears of joy, to celebrate, dance, whatever you feel. We did it. I would like to take the time to thank all of our family and friends that came out to show love today and throughout our process gave us that boost of confidence when we needed it. Thank you to our faculty and staff who pulled us to the side and gave us those special talks of why we were in our respective programs and what was expected but also pointed us in the right direction if we got stuck. I'd like to give a quick shout out to the School of Community Health and Policy. Each and every one of you are appreciated. I have a tattoo that says in French, je ne regrette rien, which translates to, I regret nothing. And I do not regret my choice in Morgan State University because when I think of moving forward after today, I am not fearful. I feel prepared. Morgan engraved in us, the world is our oyster, a phrase that means you have the advantage. And we do. Morgan gave us the tools and the skill set needed to achieve in any environment and any career of our choice. To me, I think of Morgan as a mini Wakanda. <laughs> Morgan is a place where ideas are not buried, a place that allows its students to shine and not deter them from their dreams, a place that allows for its students to unlock their full potential and bring forth the greatness that dwells within. And with these positive concepts, you can apply our Morgan Wakandan ideals and manifest them into rebuilding a sense of community and productivity that can build a new history and a better future for our country. So when you look 20, 30, 50 years down the road, you will always draw upon the experiences and lessons learned right here and apply them to make the difference that you wish to see in the world. In closing, I would like to leave you with this thought. If you are going to achieve excellence in big things, you develop the habit in little matters. Excellence is not an exception, it is a prevailing attitude. Colin Powell. We have, thank you. We have truly come a long way. Congratulations, class of 2018. We did it! Let's do a little bit better than that. That is absolutely too terrific. Very, very terrific. Thank you very much, Ms. White. Thank you very much, Mr. About to be Dr. Stanley, and to the About to be Dr. Stanley, let there be no doubt that you have earned that PhD. And it is, it is our honor in a few minutes to officially bestow it on you. We have now come to the part of our ceremony where we confer our degrees. Uh, Morgan State University is very pleased this morning 
to award degrees to well over 200 students in the School of Graduate Studies today. What is unique about this graduating class is that Morgan is awarding this year its first ever Master of Education degrees in Community College Administration and Instruction. I congratulate the six students who constitute Morgan's inaugural graduating class in that discipline, including Maryland State Senator Joan Carter Conway. And so now I would like to bring forward our provost, Dr. Gloria Gibson, under which the degrees will be conferred. Dr. Gibson. Mr. President, the candidates for doctoral and master's degrees will be presented by the Dean of the School of Graduate Studies as they appear in the order of exercises. All candidates for the degree Doctor of Philosophy, please rise. All candidates for the degree Doctor of Education, please rise. <clears throat> All candidates for the degree Doctor of Public Health, please rise. <clears throat> Mr. President, I am honored to present the candidates who have qualified in all respects for the degrees Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Education, and Doctor of Public Health. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Morgan State University Board of Regents, I now confer upon you in mass the degrees Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Education, and Doctor of Public Health with all the rights, the privileges, the duties, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Congratulations to all of our doctoral degree recipients. Harris B. Adkins Jackson, dissertation, examining the validity of self-care for black women, a mixed methods analysis. Charles L. Chavis, Jr., dissertation, When the Unknown Becomes Known, Matthew Williams, Judge Lynch, and the Politics of Racism in a Free State, 1931 to 1932. <laughs> Tyrone Stanley, dissertation, Real Thing, the Musical. Bridget T. Robinson, Dissertation, The Battle for Respectability, The Black Bourgeoisie's Use of Eugenic Rhetoric and Racial Uplift Politics, 1895 to 1940.
Tisha L. Wilson, dissertation, WDAS-AM-FM, the community radio station, and the sound of Black Philadelphia, 1950 to 1979. Ashat Omar, dissertation, Essays on Seon Pei. <laughs> Zainab Oriyomi Mosi Battalion, Boon Kuyuki, dissertation. Metal assisted and microwave accelerated, accelerated decrystallization. <laughs> Janelle Guy, dissertation. Impact of hepatitis C virus core protein on the tumor necrosis factor, a postus inducing ligand pathway in peripheral blood mononuclear cells. Aboside Oloranti Gabenga Akimbiola. <laughs> Dissertation, telling their stories, women in Nigerian higher education. <laughs> Avita White. Dissertation, Presenting mental health issues and psychosocial stresses of college students by race, ethnicity, and gender. <laughs> Donovan Avoni Smalls, dissertation, a micro ethnographic case study on face-to-face teacher-student interactions in a predominantly African-American classroom. <laughs> Keel Array Wade, dissertation, African-American teachers' attitudes, beliefs, and perceptions of hip-hop, hip-hop culture, and hip-hop pedagogy in an urban school district. Deborah Yvonne Brooks, dissertation, a, qu a quantitative study of the perceptions of student engagement among women with children attending community college. Eronda J. Campbell, dissertation, student engagement and academic success at a West Virginia community college. Irma A. Johnson, dissertation, differences between female and male African-American community college students in engagement, the centrality of intersectionality. <laughs> Carla R. Jackson, dissertation, 1,000 paper cuts, linguistic portraits illustrating the emotional toll of underrepresentation on African American female professors at Maryland community colleges. <laughs> Herman Isaac Pryor, Jr., dissertation. Academic success of African American men in African American male based achievement programs at five Maryland community colleges. Yeah. 
Sarah E. Miller, Dissertation. Analysis of the Effectiveness of the STEM Careers Intervention Series, a Community College Mathematics Class STEM Recruitment Tool. Taiwan M. Griffin, Dissertation, Student-Faculty Interaction and First-Generation Men of Color. <laughs> George O. Anayumba, dissertation. Does probation status predict the risk of rearrest among adolescents and youth felons in the United States of America? Ebele N. Oranyuba, dissertation, causes of premature death and associated risk factors in Goldstein Province, Iran. <laughs> Jumay M. Apata, dissertation, examining factors related to smoking cessation in underserved populations, lessons learned from the CEASE initiative. <laughs> Kodjo Adam Dodo, dissertation, understanding food insecurity risk factors and the food environment on an HBCU campus. Jacqueline Dow, dissertation, maternal body mass index prior to pregnancy and risk of preterm birth among African American women uh, of reproductive age. Sambo Puja, dissertation. A mixed methods examination of attitude and acculturation factors influencing mental health service uh, receipt among African immigrants in the Washington metropolitan region. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for all of our newly minted doctoral degree recipients. You know, I'm always reading national studies, and so I just wanted, wanted to share this brief statistic with you. I read a study about three months ago, and it's indicated that Morgan State University ranks 13th in the nation in the production of black doctoral recipients. And so I think you can see a good example of that today as these individuals came across the stage. All candidates for the degree Master of Architecture, please rise.
All candidates for the degree Master of Arts, please rise. All candidates for the degree Master of Business Administration, please rise. All candidates for the degree Master of City and Regional Planning, please rise. All candidates for the degree Master of Education, please rise. All candidates for the degree Master of Engineering, please rise. All candidates for the degree Master of Landscape Architecture, please rise. All candidates for the degree Master of Public Health, please rise. All candidates for the degree Master of Science, please rise. All candidates for the degree Master of Social Work, please rise. Mr. President, I am honored to present the candidates who have qualified in all respects for the degrees Master of Architecture, Master of Arts, Master of Business Administration, Master of City and Regional Planning, Master of Education, Master of Engineering, Master of Landscape Architecture, Master of Public Health, Master of Science, and least but not last, or excuse me, last but not least, <laughs> Master of Social Work. <laughs> I'm not so sure about the MSWs. <laughs> by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Morgan State University Board of Regents, I now confer upon you in mass the master's degree according to the department and school in which you have qualified with all the rights, all the privileges, all the duties, all the responsibilities thereto appertaining, congratulations to all of our master's degree recipients. Juan Fernando Manjarez Perez. Sarah L. Williams. Andrew D. Fuller. Amberlyn Carol Kaufman. Brianna Bernice Blow. Comfort O. Abimaje. Kiruka J. Wachukwu. Kara Sheikh Hatari. Abdufata M. Amasri. Ayana T. Freilong. Jasmine A. Barnes. Curtis Richardson. Alicia Fredericks. Ashley R. Council. Lee Walters. Carlins Edmund, Sunya Ramtel, Woo! 
Cheryl Yvette Williams Love. Marcia M. Price. Mona M. Aldasari. Adriana Rosario. Candace N. High. Louis D. Poe. David A. Roberts. Barack DeCall. Khadija A. Asiri. Sahar Al Amasan. Mona M. Hazazi. Ipupo Buki Babalola. David A. Lawrence II. Kristen M. Smith. Joab A. Agunbiyi. Akram Nader. Ahmad F. Dabur. Sultan Al Hadbardi. Paris S. Bell. Jade Marquia Duncan. Ashley M. Harris. Treasure C. Coleman. Tiara K. Williams. Danielle L. Carter. I'm Alohi Olasewise Imo Kawide. Shelly Ann Karen Dyer. Christopher C. Tokpa. Moses S. Forkpa. Tamara M. Virgil. Tu T. Nguyen. Antoine A. Bird. Arayinka Komalafe. Jeremy B. Weiss. Larry H. Jenkins III. Crystal Lene Alston. Devin D. Brown, Sr. Frederick A. Myers. Justin L. Young. Yeah. 
Ebony L. Wood. Natasha D. Peters. Joan Carter Conway. Malcolm S. Lewis. Kashif Javed. Akeem A. Stevenson. Rahim I. Yusuf. Ragul Kumar Chandrasekharan. Ite Sergei Kone Dosingui. Oluwatunde J. Aldasote. Tajmir Alam. Leo L. Jones. Ashley A. Jones. Abigail C. Leonard. Samuel O. Quick. <laughs> Jessica A. White. <laughs> Nana A. Darko. Tanya M. Smith. Crystal G. Phillip. Kiwanda J. Wilson Collier. C. A. Tekesti. Charde Marie Jones. Olua Toyin Y. Ajahi. Omola A. Balaji Adio. Francis D. Bedford. Helen Akundaye. Morellis D. Jansen. Andre Shivane Quarles. Bria Simone McCoy. Oluwasola S. Oni. Kara J. Clark. Sean P. Walker. Ayat Kutbi. Deshaun M. Kamani. Abdul Hakim Ibrahim Alahaya. Yazid Al Sadi.
Zore Rashidi Mogadam. Abir M. Sharyan. Mary O. Fatahisti. Wilhelmina E. Austin. Nicole S. Mosley. Erica L. Parker. Miracle Il Ilhunaya Chukwa Ize. Deshelle M. Royal. Nathan E. Ayers. Ilana R. Levine. Sabatha E. Schools. Alham S. Akarni. Aisha Shamaki. Asma Azharani. Taj R. Rollins. <laughs> Kelly M. Pennington. <laughs> Jamal M. Simmons. Jewel F. Duncan. Shante M. Taylor. Brendan Mercado. Dana R. Parker. LaShonda Small. Shawanda Gardner. Danielle Baldwin. Kayona N. Doe. Sensei M. George. Sakia Saunders. Sanders. Dominique M. Campbell. Maria Jones. Brittany M. Uh, L. Walker. Karen K. Scott. Jordan N. Brunson. Latoya A. Tyson. Jasmine B. Ferguson. Lestadja T. Williams. Justin D. Turner. DeRay O. Grant.
Natasha I. Smith. Chantel M. Stokeling. Jamar P. Barnes. Malika W. Ali. Carrie Emma Woodlaw. Taylor R. Warner. Victoria A. Aji. Yvette D. Brown. Brittany S. Gibson. Shanita Nichelle King. Sharina Cannon. Willie E. Drayton. Lakeisha M. Mixon. Fisayu A. Awajudu. Eric T. Wilson. Gaysa Jalali. Janet M. Bargett. Sylvia Chagosi Ibedagulam. Jamire C. Merrick. Tonia Matthews. Tammy L. Montague. Antonia M. Austin. Manisha V. Freeman. Chakisha S. Alexander. Angela Y. Ramsu. <laughs> Destiny Brand. <laughs> Raymond L. Brown. <laughs> Sean L. Dutton. Simone N. Smith. Adela. Rochelle D. Adela. Donna L. Christian. Shanae B. Brown.
Startasia D. Carter. Rodra T. Oliver. <laughs> Tracy L. Doy. Janelle L. Bathia. Desiree Lata. <laughs> Megan C. Hawkins. <laughs> Brianna L. Bryant. <laughs> and Nakia S. Clark. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a collective round of applause to all of our master's graduates, our newest graduates of Morgan State University. Congratulations to all of you. And now I'm going to bring forward Reverend Dr. Charles D. Fletcher, Jr. Uh, Dr. Fletcher is president of the Morgan State University Alumni Association, and he will induct all of you new graduates into the Morgan State University National Alumni Association. Dr. Fletcher. President Wilson, members of the Board of Regents, distinguished platform guests, family, friends, and graduates of the class of 2018. You are about to join a distinguished group of fellow graduates of this great university, and we who are members commit to give back so that someone else may sit where you're sitting right now at our future date. And to commemorate, I'm going to get a selfie of you. So if you would please stand. I need you to repeat after me the oath. So if you will still remain standing, please. Uh, 
I hereby solemnly pledge, I hereby solemnly pledge unbroken, allegiance to alma mater, unbroken allegiance to alma mater and appreciation for opportunities for development, and for development afforded me as a student at Morgan State University. I pledge active membership in the Morgan State University Alumni Association, wherever I may be. Through association with fellow alumni, I shall ever do my best to uphold the ideals and traditions of alma mater. I pledge as a citizen to exemplify the high ideals thus implied, rendering positive service to community, state, and nation, and so to live as ever to bring honor and respect to alma mater. Congratulations, alumni. You may be seated. And now a few closing remarks. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we really thank you for being with us today to join in Morgan's second graduation ceremony for the School of Graduate Studies and its 142nd spring commencement exercises. We know that you share our pride in the ladies and gentlemen assembled here who have reached this milestone in their lives, and we know that you join us in wishing them much success in their careers and in their advanced studies. And so just a few final words to the new doctoral and master's degree holders in the class of 2018. We know here at Morgan that the last years have tested your ability and resolve to succeed in your second or third step in higher education. I think you heard that so eloquently from Mr. Stanley. We have challenged you in every respect, and we have dared you to dream dreams bigger than those that you had when you entered this institution. And we are un apologetic about that. We have summoned you to reach for the stars. And then we have cautioned you that if you reached your star, then perhaps your aspiration was simply not great enough. We have urged you during your time here at Morgan to be truly committed to growing the future and leading the world. That future is you, and the world so desperately needs the leadership that you are so capable of providing. And you have responded to our charge. You have responded to the charge, and you have received your calling now to step onto that world stage, and to step onto that stage with Morgan pride and vigor and enthusiasm. We are proud of each and every one of you, and we look forward to hearing of your abundant success as you leave Fair Morgan. Now, as you leave, do not forget to come back. Morgan is your home. We are your family. Come back, and please do not forget, as you climb higher on those ladders of success, and we know you will, please don't forget to simply 
reach back. Just reach back and assist those students that certainly will follow in your footsteps. Those students that you reach back and grab hold of, they will be inspired by your example. They will be inspired by your record of achievement. And of all of these things, there's one last thing that I absolutely don't want you to forget. Don't forget to give back. Don't forget to write the check. <laughs> and don't forget if you are just dealing in electronic money to make friends with PayPal <laughs> or the credit card. The important thing is to give back because it is really the support now of alumni like you that will enable this institution to be here another 150 years and not just survive. That's a low standard, but to prosper and to thrive. And so that's what we are about here at Morgan. That's what we have spent countless days, weeks, months, and years preparing you for. We want you to go out there now and truly continue to prosper and to be committed to growing the future and leading the world. Good luck to all of you. Go out there, make yourself, your families, and this institution even more proud of you. And so and now uh, I'm going to ask Ms. Jasmine Barnes, soprano from the Morgan State University Choir. Uh, Jasmine, if you would now come forward and lead us in the singing of the alma mater, uh, after which the benediction will be offered by Reverend Bernard Kills. And we ask the audience to remain standing in place for the alma mater and the benediction, and that you remain in place until the academic recessional has actually exited the concert hall. Ms. Barnes. Devotion by the Lord. 
stand for a moment and look to your left and look to your right. The miracle is that that many years ago, when you were born in the secret of your mother's womb, you became family because you share in this mighty, incredible institution of learning. You finish your course. Now you bid farewell to alma mater. You climb the stairway, sometimes not even seeing the steps, onward and upward, even in times of uncertainty and doubt. With fortified knowledge and sure footing, you enter a world and a workplace that waits on your gifts and welcomes your commitment to diversity and inclusiveness. Be mindful that much is expected of you. Those who have been given much should give much. Follow your faith and you will find your destiny. Never give up and never give in. And seeing yourself as a centerpiece of the world, see others as the necessary agents of change. There are those whose margins have been reduced by lack of opportunity who've been nullified by a society because of the hue of their skin or the nation they come from. Go find your place to be of service to the last, the lost, and the least. If you ever worry about living and dying, Dr. King said it best. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter the most. Amen. Yeah. 